everyone welcome to one new video so the car we are reviewing today is Maruti Suzuki Esteem it is in 2006 variant it is VXI the top and trim of the Maruti Esteem well let's give a walk around of this car if we talk about the front profile of the car it gives it a sleek and a smooth appeal you get a chrome finish grille in the center you have got the headlamps with normal halogen bulbs but a different thing about these headlamps is the integrated indicator assembly which is based on the right as well as the leftmost corners on the fender at the bottom in the bumper you also get to see the fog lights so as i told you in the starting that it is in 2006 model but still it used to offer you a lot of features a lot of things which were a mode of attraction into the people about this car uh, so the overall appearance from the front is really sleek and smooth but as we come through the side profile of this car from the side this car has got a different type of appearance from the side this car looks quite boxy which gives it a sporty appeal and uh, somehow makes it look like an american mus muscle car so when we talk about the si tire, tire sizing it offers you 13 inches tires which can be upgraded to at least 15 inches if you go through the alloys from the side the appearance is really sporty and as we come at the rear of this car the sport it into two parts as we saw the front headlights divided into two parts with one of the main headlight and one of the indicator but it is not the same here on the topmost part of the tail light you get to see the brake light as well as the main tail lamp and at the bottom you get to see the indicator lamp but here these twin lights which you get to see next to both the sides of the number plate are the reverse lights which gives it a cute feel and makes the car look very great from the rear as well now let's dive into the interiors and see what is there to talk about door of the steam open quite large enough uh, I think they open in 45 degree angle and this is the door of the ST this is the door pad it is finished in soft touch material so it is really good and gives it a luxurious feel and uh, you also get this fabric finishing done on the door pad here's the power window button for the rear so again power windows in 2006 vehicle that really matters this was the more uh, these were the things these were the factors influencing the demand of esteem in the market and made it a very premium as well as the most futuristic car of that period so this is the rear cabin of the car it is really good it seems to be very comfortable just by seeing it we can feel that it is going to be very comfortable for our long journeys as well as for a long rides so the seat is quite of divided into two parts one is this this is for your shoulder shoulder rest you get the rear seat belts over here and this is the main um, as main part of the rear seat or you can say that this is the only rear seat rear seat is quite comfortable the cushioning level is extremely great there's good support for your back but the only problem about the rear seat of the esteem is it's under thigh support which is quite lacky but still it goes on if by sitting if you just sit on the rear seat it makes you feel so comfortable so that really goes on and there's also a small hump on the floor so that also influence the sitting capacity at the rear so two persons can only comfortably sit at the rear seat of the esteem that is one thing but i would only like to sit alone on the rear seat of this car because this car is something that wants a driver at the front and wants his owner at the rear that's great this is a proper luxurious car of that period well now let's dive into the front and see what's there well this is the front door of the esteem it opens very large as well and here you have here and here you have got a lot of controls these are the power window controls auto up and down driver side window again this is a feature which is missing in our present cars in our present new cars and this function was offered that time in an 2006 vehicle offered by maruti suzuki known as maruti suzuki esteem this is the lock lock and unlock door button which is known as door lock and this is the window lock button over here and 
it is the gram handle along with lock uh, kind of lever and these are the internal adjustable ORVMs again internal adjustable ORVMs all four power windows door lock and unlock window lock all these features were the most significant in making this car a premium as well as a luxury sedan of that period and this is the steering wheel the steering wheel seems to be quite large compared to our new cars but still it is in 2006 car we should not forget that and here's the headlight leveler as well as uh, the fog light control as well as the control for the rear defogger and these are the stock lamps and you can see piano black finishing on the stock lamps this is something wow i like about this car and this is the instrumental cluster above of this car well on the rightmost corner you get to see the temperature gauge then next to it is the rpm meter then on the left side is the speedometer and on the leftmost corner you get to see the fuel gauge. So this is all about the instrumental cluster of Maruti Suzuki ST. And here is the center console of this car. You On the top you get AC vents then you get the controls for the AC and here is the aftermarket stereo of this car. But let me tell you for information that S team originally offered you a Kenwood uh, MP3 FMAM music player which came with four speakers so the placement of the speakers in the front is done over here in the dashboard itself over here and the rear speakers are on the rear parts itself I will show you afterwards so here you have got space so you can really fit on a two den touch screen or a two den music player and here is the ashtray and it is a 12 volt charging socket and this is a tray which you have to pull so when you will pull this tray you get to see two cup holders and there is some space to keep some stuff like your coins and all those and this is the gear lever of this car it really feels nice to hold this is the handbrake and there is a small cuppy hole to keep coins and other stuff like that and this is the glove box of this car and the OMG factor about this glove box is that it is lockable it's locked at the moment but let me unlock it and uh, it gets unlocked with the same key of the car so there's nothing hectic to keep about that just put on the key and unlock it it is really simple and this is the glove box the glove box is decent size not large enough but still you can keep your normal documents and other things like that and it is the ac vent of the co-driver side and this is the irvm of this car which is adjustable yeah it is adjustable not electronic but still manually adjustable again in a 2006 car there are a lot of factors about this car which really make it not outdated it doesn't feel outdated is it it is all like a present cars which are there in the market well This is the whole display or the appearance of the dashboard of the steam and as I told you on the door pad softest plastic materials is used and it continues over here also on the dashboard as well softest plastic material is used as you can see over here and it really gives it a premium feel inside the cabin the cabin of the steam is somewhat you would like to be in it is really cool good and smooth you just love to be inside a steam that is somewhat something special about this car well let's now open the hood of the car and see what special is inside there this is something special inside the hood this is the 1.3 liter k series petrol motor offered by maruti suzuki in this steam so the specifications of this engine is that it produces 85 ps of power 
at 6500 not 6500 rpms and 110 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpms but believe me in terms of practicality on the road this engine is so pappy so powerful so if uh, not i would not say efficient because this car the ari claimed mileage of this vehicle in the city is 11.44 kmpl which is you know quite less but still guys uh, this is what likes to be wrapped the mid-range of this car is really strong the top end is something it likes to be in but there's some low and lack in this car but it is quite tolerable this car is made for the highways for long journeys for six lane highways this car loves to get revved this engine is the heart of this car well all the engines are heart of every car but still this is the most special thing or this is the more key feature about this car it is not a feature but still it is somewhat most uh, important thing about this car uh, i can't express my feelings in terms of words about this particular motor about this particular car it is a legendary figure it is a legendary car in the history of automobile from maruti suzuki this is my personal favorite car from maruti suzuki offered in the market well now let's have a quick look at the specifications or at the key features of this car which we get through which we got through well the key features of the s team are its four power windows door lock and unlock fog lamps internal adjustable orvms as well as the adjustable irvm and one thing i forgot is the automatic antenna of this car so how it functions is just you need to turn on the stereo but it need to be the antenna the motor of this antenna need to be connected with the stereo when you will turn on the stereo this aut aut antenna will go up as it used to go in the old balino so it is just same and this is also one of the features of esteem and another thing about esteem the most good thing about its cabin is its rear seat as well as the front seat and their comfort level especially their cushioning and another good thing about esteem is its motor as i told you it is an 1.3 liter which is it is an 1.3 liter motor which is really great performing as well as pappy and the turning radius of esteem is 4.8 meters and the its gov weight is 1 to 4 8 kgs means 1248 kilograms so this is all about esteem and if you are looking to buy esteem the second in market it is really available in cheap prices approximately you will get this vxi a good maintained car in second hand market easily at 85 to 90000 so it can be a good deal for you because it offers all the necessary and all the main features or the major features which a car need to offer in the market all four power windows and all such features as i told you in this video or in this review and that's all about esteem we'll meet soon in our next video and thanks for watching this video